YouTube, welcome back to Billy AZ Prospector. Today I have a unique video. I want to take a moment and show you guys some a recent recent purchase that I had done about probably two to three months ago. This is uh, something that I was very excited about. If you can see here, we have some older dollars, silver dollars, older trade dollars, and even some old uh, Mexican dollars. So what? It, how this uh, all came to is I saw a posting on the app called OfferUp. And someone was selling some coins that they had uh, claimed that they had found in an attic. The uh, coins that said that they had moved into the home. Uh, again, I live on the West Coast, so think about this for a minute. Most people building a home out West... I would say it's maybe less typical for someone to put something in the walls or put something in the attic than it would be for somewhere back east. So maybe that's hit number one. Um, second thing I had was they had posted this coin. This is a $1,804. It was the, according to the Red Book, it was a series that was early on from the Heraldic Eagle Reverse uh, you can see here some of the key dates, stuff like that. But I got really excited because, of course, uh, getting to the, the turn of the century in the 1800s, these coins are very rare. So if you see here in 1804, uh, there were only a few known, four known, six known, eight known on these right here. And if you look at some of the price points, I mean, $4, $4 million, $2.3 million. Yeah, I could have... You could be saying right now, of course, you're not going to take that for granted that someone found this in their attic. Or could you? I mean, how are these found, right? So I got excited about those. Of course, this is <laughs> later at night. Um, of course, asking my wife, hey, I got to go uh, make a transaction on OfferUp app uh, in a sketchy area to meet up. And uh, so I brought my neighbor along. I brought my pocket scale along as well because I wanted to take a you know, take a look at these. Now, the individual did state that they didn't know anything about the coins. They they actually did not want to sell to me that 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 evening. They wanted to take them to a coin shop to have them certified before they made any kind of deal. So, if you look at the trade dollars, you see a 420 grains of 900 fine silver. Similar thing here with the other trade dollars, 420 grain, five or 420 grains of 900 fine silver trade dollar. Um, so I got the coins. What I did is, you know, of course, I started uh, trying to check for silver. The first thing I did is look at the side of the coin. And truth be told, all the sides look good. I tried to tap test. Now, that doesn't sound very good, but if I can get it on the side, you can actually see where I was actually getting some teeing out of the coin. Um So I was, I was thinking, okay, this does maybe sound a little bit like silver. Um, so then I went to maybe my second test. I was, you know, flicking the coins, trying to get a, a, a long um, hollow ping out of the coins. And then I went to my scale. So I was thinking, okay, let's, let's weigh this out a little bit. <clears throat> so if you go to the Red Book real quick, I did a little bit of research before I jumped into these. I was actually looking at the Morgan Dollars. And the nice thing that they actually went into in this book was the point that they talked about the weight. Um, if you look here, I think it actually states here that, yes, it'll the weight um, will vary a little bit for worn coins. But typically, uh, right here, actually, the designer, the weight, 26.73 grams. Compo composition is going to be 0.900 silver, 0.100 copper. And... They got the diameter, the reeded edge, the mint marks from where they were minted. So I thought, okay, well, here's a Morgan. And I thought, well, let's check this out. So I had this coin, and I threw it on the scale that I had at the time, and it read out at 17 grams. Knowing in my head, I reverted back to 26.7 grams, thinking, okay, we're about 10 grams shy, more or less, where this should be at. So second red flag, or maybe by this point, 10 red flags... <laughs> And 
I just couldn't put it past my head thinking, okay, maybe over the years, I mean, we're talking 100, 200 years that these coins have been in circulation. Maybe they've just been worn down. Um, and then look what this coin has started to do. You can see actually starting to see some rust uh, points on it. So I don't know if these were plated with silver or what, or plated with, the, it's like a steel planchet. Uh, I got a real Morgan dollar here. If I put that on there, you can see we're coming at 26 grams. A little shy of where that is, but again, um, it's it's pretty well known that over the years, some coins are going to go down um, and get worn down on the silver. So here's a genuine Morgan. Here's the non-genuine Morgan. You can see maybe it's not as good of a strike. Definitely not as tall as the other coin. Uh, opposite sides here. Another thing else I just noticed, if you're looking at the coin here, you got the right side up. If you flip the coin exactly over, look at that. It's almost a mirror. Ref so, bang, another, another flag right there, guys. When you flip it straight over, it's the same side punch as to where this is. Obviously, if we flip it, it's going to be flipped how it's supposed to be but i mean guys someone took a lot of time on these coins i have uh, actually sent this and reported this up to the fbi i haven't got any uh information back but for someone to sit there and take this much time on a coin there's money to be had there's always if there's money to be had there's always somebody that's trying to trying to make a deal so i've actually gone into quite a few uh, pawn shops as you know i posted a recent video of the dimes that i acquired there's a lot of people that are trying to pass these off. Matter of fact, I went into one of the um, pawn shops the other day and noticed that uh, they actually had some of these coins, these trade dollars here, for two hundred dollars a piece. And when I saw them, instantly knew those were fake. And I said, "Can we take a look at those?" They pulled them out. I said, "I really don't think those are real." Uh, we kind of went back and forth a little bit, uh, debating, and I finally said, "You know what, guys, take them in the back. Let's go look." get a magnet because this is something that I've started doing ever since this transaction. Here's just a, a regular magnet for a part if you're working on a vehicle. Watch this. I mean, it's not a very strong magnet, but it sticks to this thing like instantly and it's not shaking off. Um, definitely like a steel center on this coin. Actually, all these coins, all these coins stick. Um, even in a holder, they're still going to st stick. Um, Think of this one. I think I had this one earlier, but yeah, you can see it popping up. I mean, it's going to stick. They should not stick. If anything, typically what a coin's going to do is it actually, if you have a really strong uh, rare earth magnet, the coin will actually push away uh, on a silver coin. Um, so if I had a really strong one, I could demonstrate that for you. But if you had a really strong one, they're usually like uh, the rounds. Um, but if you put this coin up next to it, uh, the really strong magnet, this coin will actually push away versus retract, you know, it, attract it. So very interesting. But ultimately, guys, the reason I want to put this uh, quick video together is uh, I want you to learn from my mistakes. I think the community is uh, needing this type of uh, education. Uh, I don't mind. I only paid about eight bucks a piece for these coins. Uh, you know, let's just say I was half right and one of these coins turned out to be legit. I would have made my money back, no problem. And again, you know, people have commented, you know, coins aren't about making money. They're about uh, you being the holder of the coin and keeping it in great condition for the next generation to come. I get that. I still enjoy the value side of the coin, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but I want you to learn from things that I've done. So really do your homework on these. Um, if you're going to spend any kind of money, just do your homework. Here's a, a better way to go. I'll do another video here pretty soon on these. Maybe get them already graded. But even so, there's still coins. Like I said, if there's money to be had in it, there's going to be fakes. You can buy them pre-graded uh, from NGC, PCGS, stuff like that to verify that the coins are going to be um, certified. But then again, you still need to do your homework and actually look at the coin holder, make sure that it hasn't been tampered with and a, uh, uh, a bad coin put in or even worse, 
one manufactured from China or somewhere in Asia, and it's a fake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I um, hope you learned a little bit. Um, a couple things, just like I said, you know, check the, the content of the material that the, the coin is made out of. Check your weights. Always bring a magnet because... Um, you know, they're most of the most, I don't think, I don't know if any coin actually is going to be attracted to a magnet that's not real in the U.S. anyways. So something to consider. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.